running along walls and parkour in the past, the first thing that comes to mind is Assassin's Creed. And Assassin's Creed Unity is coming out towards the end of the year. And uh, we've had the privilege of uh, going to Paris to go check it out. So I've had some hands on time with it. And I'm sitting with Leslie, who is one of the producers on the game. Uh, welcome to IGN. Thank you. Great to be here. Now, uh, I, have a, I have a lot of questions. Having had uh, hands-on time with the game and having some experience with the game, I found the game a little bit challenging uh, compared to my previous play style, just like running there and like beating up fools. Um, what have you guys done? You've included like a, a, a new like sneaky system. Uh, how has that like jazzed up the gameplay? Yeah, so I mean, you mentioned that it's tougher. So for sure, combat is tougher. We decided to make, um, so okay, let me go back. In previous Assassin's Creed, you could kind of line up a whole bunch of enemies, right? And just go counter, counter, counter. And like, you know, there wasn't that much challenge. And you kind of like saw the pattern, you go over and over again. So we wanted to make that a deeper system. You know, we wanted to make it more strategic, requiring more planning. So now enemies are really smart. They're going to work together against you. You know, two of them are going to maybe engage you um, in a fight, but then someone is going to maybe run and ring a bell and get enforcements or shoot you from a distance. So the idea is we've given players more choices now on how to approach a fight, and that plays well right into stealth. So now we have a dedicated stealth mode. You go into crouch, you're quiet, you're more aware of your surroundings, um, and you can approach a situation without being detected. So instead of, you're probably used to just running right in and taking on like all the guys, and you're like, oh my god, I can't do this anymore. So it is tougher, but we've also given you more tools, more options, so that you can play the way that you want to play and play um, more stealthily if you choose to do so. Okay, so a big thing that you guys are touting is the multiplayer. And there's two different kinds, there's two player co-op and then there's a four player co-op. Do those have any impact in the actual single player experience and if so, how? So just to clarify, we do have two different types of co-op but um, they're both two player or four player. And you can also play them solo if you want. So the two kinds of co-op missions are Brotherhood missions, which are narrative missions that tell stories about the French Revolution. And we also have heists. And heists are more systemic. The idea is you go in, you steal loot, and you get out without being detected. And the more you are detected, the less loot you're going to steal. So um, how these play into the, um, the single player campaign. So the single player campaign, the story is very much focused on the main protagonist, Arno. It's his personal journey. It's his journey from becoming, from going from apprentice to master assassin. It's also his story of redemption. He has an incredible guilt because of the death of his father. Um, and he's, he's joined the Assassin's Brotherhood because of that. Um, the Brotherhood missions, as I mentioned, are narrative stories that complement the single player story because they tell the rest of the story of the French Revolution. So you really get like kind of both sides of like the personal story as well as the context of what's happening at that period of time. How accurate is that uh, description of that period of time? Well, we obviously try to stay as authentic as possible. It's something we do in every Assassin's Creed game. We do our research. We want to make sure that we're not misrepresenting history. Um, but of course, the French Revolution is a highly contested period of history. So there's a few things that everyone can agree on. There's also many things that are questionable or up to interpretation. So we've tried to remain as authentic as possible to what everyone agrees on. But then we've also woven in the the fiction of the age-old struggle between the Assassins and the Templars. Okay, and uh, just talking about the morality uh, of, of the Assassins and uh, the Templars, uh, I found that Black Flag did a very interesting thing and kind of questioned the morality of the Assassins and maybe uh, put the, 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 the objectives of the Templars into a good light, in a sense. Just making it a little bit more morally ambiguous. Are you planning to do something very similar here with, uh, uh, with Unity? I don't want to give away too much, um, but I mean, obviously, you do play as an assassin, um, as Arno. There's a very, very strong character in the game named Elise, and Arno and Elise have a very special relationship. They've known each other since childhood, where Arno's personal journey is one of redemption. She's taken the path of revenge, and Elise has decided to become a Templar. So there's a very interesting dynamic between them, and they have a deep love for each other, you know, as they've known each other since childhood. So there's, there's definitely something that will unfold as the story progresses. 
Uh, I'm not sure if this is something you can answer, but uh, I want to ask it anyway. Um, will there be an opportunity to play as a female, something like Elise, in, in a future AAA Assassin's Creed t release? I can't speak to what's going to happen down the road. Uh, for Assassin's Creed Unity, we really wanted to focus on player progression. So that is why you play Arno through single player, through co-op, through all the sort of side activities you can do as well. And that player progression is um, inherent to the story that we're telling in Unity. But it's also really great for you as a player in the sense that even though it's focused on Arno and his personal story, um, you can also customize Arno to your playstyle. So, for example, you're gonna de you're gonna gain skills um, that that uh, play to five different areas: uh, combat, defense, stealth, assassination, and navigation. And you're also gonna acquire gear. We have something like over 200 pieces of gear that you can wear. And we also have up to something like 85 different weapons. And all of these things that you can equip your character with will play into those five different stats. So it's really about creating the character that you want to play. OK, well, on that aside, you've played a lot of the game, right? I've played a fair share of it, yes. Now, imagine the cameras weren't rolling. We're just having a little bit of a one-on-one. -on -one. What is your personal favorite thing about the game? And it could be anything. It could be from the soundtrack to uh, the way Honor runs down walls. Honestly, um, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I followed the Assassin's Creed franchise, but I was not like a super fan. And while I was working on Unity, I just fell in love with the franchise, and, and a big part of it is the city of Paris. You know, we've made Paris so beautiful, and we we were able to really take advantage of the next-gen technology. So the light that you have in the world, it's just spectacular. Like, it's very realistic. There's a lot of detail, but it's also almost like a painting at the same time. So it has this beautiful um, feeling when you're walking through the city. We've made the city close to a one-to-one -one scale. You can go inside one in every four buildings. You can even go underground in tunnels and catacombs. So there's so much to explore, and it's just, you know, Paris is such a beautiful city anyway, and to be able to explore Paris during the time of the French Revolution, like a time where you couldn't visit Paris now, it's really, it's really fascinating to see it in that time period. Exciting. Well, that is Assassin's Creed Unity. I'm very excited to, to play more of it. I've had hands-on. And if you guys are looking for more Assassin's Creed Unity news, please stay tuned to za.ign.com or you can follow us on Twitter at IGN Africa. Here's to Assassin's Creed.